symptoms without any physical disorder we call those as somatoform disorders now these somatoform disorders can be broadly classified into four categories pain disorders somatization disorders conversion and hypochondriasis let's understand this one by one the first one is very very simple pain disorder so a person complains about extreme pain but there is no physical cause associated to it there is no biological finding for it in the investigations everything come out to be normal but the person let's say keeps on complaining that there is extreme pain situation uh, in any organ of the body and that is known as pain disorder now to cope this there can be two mechanisms coping means to get it, get rid of it so to cope this there can be active mechanisms or active coping and passive coping under active coping the person would keep on doing the routine activities and try to forget the pain but under a passive coping a person would have reduced social activity would have a kind of social withdrawal try to keep themselves aloof and feel that because of this pain they are not able to resume a normal life like other people but still try to uh, keep moving with it so there are two ways of coping active coping and passive coping the next is somatization disorder somatization disorder implies that there is recurrent chronic complaint about some or other thing that happens very very frequently for example it could be fatigue it could be headache it could be nausea it could be sleeplessness it could be uh, any other symptom uh, it could be gastric reflux uh, but those are the symptoms that are without any cause without any reason without any biological finding medical reports come out to be normal but still the person keeps on complaining about these things and that is what is somatization a common incidence that we have seen with children who are uh, going to school but we won't classify that as somatization disorder just to cite an example that uh, a children who uh, a child who does not want to go to school uh, let's say who has recently joined a nursery or a smaller class would say i don't want to go to school and create uh, kind of uh, explanations every day and that is similar to a uh, the the symptoms that we are seeing here the next is conversion disorders now conversion disorders is where a person reports loss of any organ of the body now this could be uh, he can complain of deafness he can complain of blindness he can complain of paralysis but there are no physical symptoms for it biologically the person is totally normal all medical reports are normal but despite of that just after a sudden stressful situation a person is unable to cope with it and there could be instances of conversion disorders the last one is hypochondriasis hypochondriasis is a situation where a person thinks that the person is seriously ill despite having any symptom no significant symptoms but the person has made the mind that i am sick i am extremely sick my some of the body organs would be removed and that's the only way i can be healthy then and that is what is hypochondriasis so even after medical reassurance even after medical findings medical sightings the patient keeps on complaining that i am there with a serious disorder this would happen to me in next few days and i need to prepare myself with this so that is what is hypochondriasis so all these four types are the types of somatoform disorders we would understand more disorders in the further section